So one of the other countries I really want to visit really soon is Ghana. I want to vis- visit West Africa, period. But when I just came here, I, my first set of friends were Ghanaians. Right, so that's it. So some of the truths and misconceptions, I think, of Ghana. So this, visiting Ghana should be a wonderful experience, I would hope, because it's rich with culture, history, and natural beauty. However, there are some truths and some misconceptions that travelers should be aware of. Here's a breakdown of common myths and truths about Ghana. Well, we're going to say the truths first. Number one, rich cultural heritage. Ghana has a vibrant cultural scene with numerous festivals, traditional ceremonies, and a deep respect for customs. The Ashanti Kingdom, for example, is known for its rich history and traditions. Number two, friendly and welcoming people. Ghanaians are known for their hospitality and friendliness. The phrase Akwabe, Akwaba, meaning welcome, hope I pronounce that properly is a significant part of the Ghanaian experience. Number three, diverse and delicious cuisine. Ghana food is diverse and flavorful, with popular dishes like jollof rice, kelewele, and fufu. I just named some of the ones I love. Each region has its own specialities, offering a wide range of culinary experience. Number four, stable demographic. Democracy. <laughs> I nearly said democracy. Anyway, Ghana is one of the most politically stable countries in West Africa. It has a strong democratic system and is often seen as a model of good governance in the region. Number five, historical significance. Ghana is home to important historical sites such as the Cape Coast and Elmina Castles. Hope I pronounce that properly, which are central to the history of the transatlantic slaves. Visiting these sites can be a powerful and educational experience. Even talking about it is powerful. Number six, beautiful natural, beautiful natural scenery. Definitely. Ghana boosts stunning natural landscapes from the beaches of the Gold Coast to the lush rainforests and waterfalls, like those in the Volta region, Kakum National Park, National Park, Canopy Walk is also a must visit. Okay, some of the myths and misconceptions of Ghana. Number one, that Ghana is just another poor African country. While Ghana faces economic challenges, it's a misconception that the entire country is impoverished. Ghana has a growing middle class and its cities such as Accra are developing rapidly with modern infrastructure, businesses and tech hubs. Number two, all of Ghana is hot and humid. Some people would say that. But while Ghana has a tropical climate, temperatures can vary by region. The coastal areas are humid, but the northern regions can be hot and dry. There are also cooler, mountainous areas like the Aquampim, Aquampim Hills. Hope I pronounced that properly. Number three, some people say it's unsafe to travel in Ghana. Well, Ghana is generally considered one of the safest countries in West Africa for travelers. But like anywhere else, it's important to be cautious, but it's a myth that Ghana is dangerous for tourists. Number four, they say everyone in Ghana lives in rural villages. Well, Ghana has both bustling urban centers and rural communities. Cities like Accra, Kumansi, and Tokoradi, I did not pronounce that properly. Say it for my people. Are modern with all the amenities, amenities. What is wrong? Amenities of a large city, including shopping malls, restaurants, and nightlife. Did I not go to school? Anyway, number five. There's nothing to see besides historical sites. 
While gone as historical sites are significant, there's much more to see, including national parks, vibrant markets, pristine beaches, and cultural festivals. Ghana offers a mix of history, nature, and contemporary experiences. Then some people say language barrier is a major is issue. Well, English is the official, official language of Ghana, making it easier for English-speaking tourists to communicate. While there are many local languages, most people in cities and tourist areas speak English. So that's mid-century about Ghana, what every traveler should know before visiting.